Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Seikas Tutorial. Today I will show you life cycle hooks of angular components and directives. However, some hooks are component specific. A component in angular has a life cycle. A number of different phases it goes through from initiation to destruction. We can hook into those different phases to get control of our application. Life cycle hooks are of four types which are specific to angular component and directives. ng on init, ng do check, ng on changes and ng on destroy. These four life cycle hooks are called in different states of component execution. In this example, I have created a test component and a child component. The child component is rendered within test component. I am running the application in 4201 port. In the application, I have created two different links. One is for dashboard and another is for the test component. I will be using this test component link to show the example. If you look the test component very closely, you will see we have a constructor over here. The constructor is invoked when Angular creates a component or directive by calling new keyword of the class. That means the constructor is invoked whenever the instance of the class is created. So in the example the constructor of test component is here and within it I have added a console log parent constructor and the child component that also have a constructor and it is printing child constructor. Now if you see the browser log and if I hit test component see first the parent constructor is displayed then the child constructor that means whenever I hit any URL or any route it goes through the child in the other word, first the parent is invoked, then the child, then grandchild and so on and so forth. That is how the initiation takes place. Now if I leave this route to another state, that means if I want to go to dashboard, you will see this ng on destroy method is called. So in the reverse sequence these instances will be destroyed. First the child then the parent. Let me show you the example. I clicked on this dashboard route. Now see the child instance is destroyed first then the parent instance is destroyed now let me go to the test component again see the parent constructor is displayed after initiation of parent component then the child and when I click on dashboard child is destroyed first then the parent 
so this is how constructor works our next hook is ng on init ng on init is invoked when given component has been initialized this hook is only called once after the first ng on change is triggered in other word ng on init hook is triggered when the component initialization is complete in the example you will see when i go to test component after this constructor statements display we can see first parent ng on init triggered then parents ng do check triggered that i will come later then child ng on change triggered then child ng on init triggered so it is not mandatory that this child ng on init will be triggered since i have an input here that is why ng on change is triggered first then the ng on init so ignore ng on changes for now so if you see the sequence first ng on init then parent ng do check then child's ng on init then child's ng do check so ng on init uh, will use when i uh, i'll be aiming to uh, initialize or to call some function within the class which has to be triggered just after the initialization of the class next hook is ng do check ng do check is invoked when the change detector of the given component is invoked it allows us to implement our own change detection algorithm for the given component i will create another session on this change detection strategy in angular but remember in ng do check we can track whenever any change is there now if you see angular is triggering this ng do check whenever uh, i go to any component like this one ng do check is automatically triggered for both parent and child so i will create another video you can see that in the above link our next hook is ng on changes so this is triggered every time whenever there is a change in one of the input property of the component so input i can take from outside of this child component let me show you the example so this app child is a component that i have rendered within the test component html and there i passed one attribute to it so that attribute is received via input decorated here to use it you need to import from angular core then using this decorator notation you can take the input so here the counter is the input name and here i am using a counter variable that has been declared over here in the test component so the counter component uh, so, sorry the counter variable is uh, is uh, initiated with value 0 and that variable i am using here 
and I have a input property to receive that counter value via input decorator. So if I change the value of the counter from this test component that means outside of this child component then only the ng on changes hook will be triggered now let me show you here as you have seen this child ng on changes is triggered why it is so because when the child is initiated that time the value of the input was undefined but when the test component initiation is completed the counter was uh, defined as zero so that means it is becoming undefined to zero for that reason the child's ng on changes is triggered now let me uh, do something to change the value again from test component so what I have done using this click to animate button I am going to update the value so that button has this animate me function and I am giving some value change over here I am incrementing the value of counter now let's see how it works clicking on this button see parent do check then child ng on changes is triggered but if I don't change anything here that ng on change will not be triggered clicking on this button so only parent ng do check and child's ng do check is triggered so if any input is changed from the parent scope and that I need to uh, track in that purpose we can use this ng on changes hook so that this child component knows that the value of input counter is changed from the parent and accordingly we have to take some action other than these four we have four more lifecycle hooks those are specific to components only those four are ng after content in it ng after content checked ng after view in it ng after view checked again to use those hooks you have to import import these interfaces and you need to implement here now if I run it in the browser you will see the sequence of those hooks so first ng after content in it then ng after content checked then ng after view in it then ng after view checked so what does this mean content in it content checked so the logic written in the class is the content of that component and that component has a view as well so anything changed here is view in it and view checked so components logic is content and views variable changes are in view init and view checked so firstly 
the content in it in it or the view in it is triggered but next time if i visit the page again like if i click on this route again you will see only after view content checked and after view content and content checked is triggered that means it is not initializing again rather it is just checking if the content is updated or if the view is checked for any change detection so these are very uh, basic purpose that we can hook into to uh, serve any our custom uh, logic so ng after content in it is invoked after angular performs any content projection into the components view and uh, ng after content checked is invoked after after each time of the content of the given component has been checked by the change detection mechanism of angular and uh, ng after view in it is invoked when the components view has been fully initialized i mean the template of that uh, component and ng after view checked is invoked each time the view of the given component has been checked by the uh, change detection mechanism of angular so importantly uh, we need to know what is change detection strategy of angular so stay tuned i'll be creating another video and we'll update this uh, video link uh, and we'll attach to the video itself well so that's all for today if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you thanks for watching bye bye